Oh, bear. You're such a silly old bear. Hey, how's it going? Bear and I were just sitting here reminiscing for a while, having a nice cup of tea and some cookies and cupcakes. Bear is going to be 47 years old this Christmas. Yes, my dear, 47. Yeah, I did the math on a calculator even. You're going to be 47 at Christmas. That's a lot of years for a bear. Bear is my oldest and most dearest friend and confidant. He has been with me since I was six years old. And we have not had a time to sit and just chat, the two of us, for quite some time now. So how are you, Bear? I see you got a new tie. Where did you get that? Scotland, when did you go to Scotland? You did not go to Scotland. I went to Scotland. I don't remember you being there with me. You couldn't fit in my suitcase that time. Bear used to travel with me everywhere when I was a little girl. He went everywhere. He went camping with me. Would you like to go camping next summer? Car camping, you're a little bit too old I think for backpacking. Okay, we'll go car camping. We used to go camping and he went to every single sleepover that I ever went to. Bear, do you remember Krista? Krista had the little bear who was to look just like you, but he was littler. He was about half your size. You do remember, oh good. Yes, we were, how old were we then? I don't, I don't remember. Krista was grade five, grade six, I think right up to grade eight? I think so. So Bear used to be, um, I got him when I was six years old, as I mentioned, and he was with me for everything. Everywhere I went, he even went to school with me. He would go to sleepovers. And uh, when we were kids and we went camping as a family, we were allowed to either take a pillow or a stuffed toy. So I always took Bear, so he was my toy as well as my pillow. What's that? Oh, when we go camping, you don't want to be my pillow? You want to have your own pillow? Okay, I think we can do that. <laughs> this fire is so nice, Bear, don't you think? Nice and toasty warm. Oh, it'd be so nice if we had some marshmallows don't have any marshmallows. Mm. Do you like these gingerbread cookies I made? Mm. These are so good. If you want the recipe for these cookies that I made, I'll put the link to the video in the description. I did that a couple weeks ago. Mm. They're so yummy. So good for Christmas time. So oh, Bear, what do you think about being 47 years old? I'm 53, you're 47. What's it like to be a bear who is 47 years old? I don't think I've ever met a bear who is 47 years old. They don't usually last live that long. So what's it like to be 47, Bear? Yes, I notice you're a little rough around the edges. You could do with some more sewing and all the little sewing jobs that I did when I was a little girl when you sprung a leak. Showing a little worse for wear. It would be really nice if I could take you to a teddy bear hospital and have them fix you up right. I'm very, very, um, leery of doing it myself because I'm afraid that you will just 
kind of disintegrate if I put you in the washing machine like we used to when we were younger. I don't know if that would work anymore. 47-year-old bear. Could I just put him in the washing machine, do you think? He needs restuffing. He needs some of his seams fixed. That is a spiffy new bow tie, though, bear. I remember when I got you on that Christmas morning, and I was so excited, and you had a nice shiny yellow bow tie on then. I wonder whatever happened to that. They always get lost, don't they? Yeah. You were the best friend ever. Mm, this tea is very nice. A nice cinnamon vanilla holiday tea. Would you like some more? No? Okay. Mm, so nice. Bear was with me for all of my major life happenings, except, I know, except for when I got married. That was probably the mistake right there. I didn't take the bear with me. I should have. And then when the magistrate said, does anyone object? I'm sure bear would have said yes, which would have saved us a lot of grief and a lot of moving around. You see, when I got married, then I moved to North Carolina, and yes, Bear came to North Carolina with me. And do you remember that day at the airport? I had Bear sitting on top of everything on my uh, luggage trolley, and it was Halloween time. And I'd been sitting there eating a lot of Halloween candy. I was a little bit wired. And I got through, I'm pushing the buggy through um, customs, and the gentleman behind the counter said, do you have children traveling with you? I said, oh no, he's with me. <laughs> oh yeah I was how old was I then I don't even remember uh, I guess it was 2004 ish yeah 2004 that trip when you came down with me then yep and then we lived down there for a few years and we moved home in 2010 and we came back home and stayed with mummy and then we moved a couple more times. We've moved around a lot, haven't we, Bear? Yeah. We've never had a fireplace like this before, though. This is lovely. I really do wish we had some marshmallows. Yeah, marshmallows would be nice. Do you mind if I do some knitting, Bear? I started this last night after I finished the toque that goes with it. The toque took me a month to do. A month, just knit a little hat, bean, toque, whatever you wanna call it. In North Carolina, they call it a toboggan. Toboggan, really, can you imagine? When I first moved there and someone said to me, where's my toboggan? I'm like thinking that long sled-like thing with the curl at the top and, I'm, and then they're saying, no, the wool cap that you put on your head in the winter time. So I'm just thinking every time someone says toboggan, that they're going to be walking around with a toboggan on their head rather than sliding down the hill in the snow on it. <laughs> oh, it's just crazy how language is so different from one end of the continent to the other, and yet it's the same language. I know, it's so weird. Yeah. really hot by this fire bear don't you think are you chilly really just old old fluff your old old fluff doesn't keep you as warm as it used to well i'm sure that this this is going to be a neck tube, I think. Hopefully I will have enough yarn that's left over from the toque. And this will probably, hopefully, not take me a month because that's just crazy. 
I do need things to keep me occupied through this long pandemic winter, but I would really appreciate it if the yarn would cooperate with me and not take a month to do. Yes, I know. It's a little bit awkward sometimes. I get so distracted. Would you like some more tea now, Bear? No? Okay, you're good. Well, it's been lovely sitting here talking to you, Bear. We don't get to do this often enough. We should really do this more often. What do you think? Fireside chat with, oh, next time you want whiskey. Can bears drink whiskey? I don't know. I think tea is probably safer for you. <laughs> oh yeah, you're a funny old bear. Well, everybody, this has been a fireside chat with Bear. Thanks for joining us. I know we're a little bit crazy, but you know, it's this lockdown. It has me going a little bit cuckoo. <laughs>